Hey, I'm Steve McWhorter, and you're listening to Build the Kingdom Podcast. So this is going to be the first of a few episodes on thriving in social media ministry, really this digital age that we live in, which I can't say is an age anymore. I think I would just say it's the world we live in now. From here on out, it's going to keep evolving, keep growing. New things are going to get thrown at us, and we can either go how do I use this for the kingdom or go, oh no, this is evil run. And I think the latter is wiser. I always want to look at each one of these and say, okay, I can give this to the enemy or we can go in and occupy this territory for the kingdom of Jesus. And look, I'm talking about everything from social media to podcasts, to YouTube, to uh, doing an email list, right? All these things are meant to be used to bring the kingdom of Jesus through your life, through the gift that he has given you to draw people to him. But hear me, not everyone is called to do this. Not everyone has to do this. Some of you just want to spend time with Jesus, just want to intercede and pray for people, and you don't feel called to this. If that's the case, I 100,000% support that. However, If you are an entrepreneur, a ministry leader, preacher, worship leader, musician, etc., and feel passionate about what God has called you to, then why wouldn't you do whatever it takes for it to reach others? Typically, when one of these types of people I mentioned say that they don't really want to do social media, it's often more about a fear of failure or rejection that's keeping them from even starting in the first place because you believe this lie that if you don't start, you can't fail. Can I be candid? Often this just comes from a fear of rejection, which is a fear about what people think. Really? We put something out there. What if they don't follow us? What if they don't like the thing that I posted or follow the thing I do or subscribe or whatever? What if I don't get a lot of views? And look at this person over here that's really successful at this. I'll never be that good. (sighs) Can I just say none of that is from Jesus? More than likely, it's your own false narrative or it's the enemy trying to keep you from your destiny. Man, who cares what people think anyways? You know, we see this throughout the gospel, like don't get caught up in the opinions of man, right? But in John chapter 21, one of the last things written in the gospel of John It starts in verse 19 on through 23. It's where Peter is told by Jesus, follow me. And Peter turns around, he sees the disciple John. He says, well, what about him? And Jesus replies, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? As for you, follow me. And it's the same today for you and I. Are we going to get caught up on other people? Are we going to follow Jesus and what he wants to do with our lives? There's something he has for you that it's important. Don't compare yourself to other people or you'll miss out on the fullness of life that God has for you. Now, another thing I hear from people that's a a reason to not start is, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time on social media. I'm not really wanting to do that. I get it, but I'm not asking you to spend all your time on social media. might sound that way, but I'm actually not. You don't want to be on there scrolling all day long. The thing is, is most of the world is. So why wouldn't you spend maybe an hour of your day prepping content for starters, putting it out that draws people to Jesus? Now, if you're like most people, I'm certain you spend more than an hour a day watching TV. So this isn't that much to set aside, especially if it means someone might come to Jesus. I personally have had to die to this too. You know, there was a time where I was like, man, I just don't want to spend that much time doing this. And I stopped looking at it that way. And I started saying, okay, what if I just invested this much time and made it all about Jesus? Like I don't sell things. I just love people and try to draw them to Christ, you know? And literally as of right now, um, going live on, you know, TikTok and Facebook, I've seen nearly 30,000 people come to Jesus in just a little over six months. That's because I stopped making it about me. I stopped worrying about putting myself up next to other creators or trying to sell things or trying to, you know, hope I get enough followers or anything like that. It was all about just reaching people with the gospel of Jesus. But I had to first stop not starting. 
<laughs> I repeat, stop not starting. Many of you are struggling with this. And I just say, invest some time into it with him. Ask him how to do it and stick with me over the next few weeks as we release these episodes once a week. So please be patient. I hope that what they'll do is give you a strategy for doing this that actually draws you closer to Jesus and also draws others close to him through what you're creating. Uh, Because my desire isn't to have a bunch of people glued to their phones. My desire is to get people glued to Jesus. Boy, that was cheesy, but I mean it. (laughs) All right. I love you guys. Let me pray for you. Jesus, I just pray you would kill every little bit of false humility in us. The things that keep us from doing things because we say, oh, I want to be humble when really we're afraid about being rejected by people or we're afraid of failing and not looking successful. Would you kill all these things in us, God? And when you put in us a desire to advance your kingdom through our lives, very simply to love people and to lead them to you, Jesus. Um, That's it. Just awaken in whoever's listening right now a desire to begin to take these first steps. If it's your longing for them, Lord, to begin to take these first steps towards thriving in social media ministry to advance your kingdom. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, I'm Stephen McWhorter, and you've been listening to Build the Kingdom Podcast.